Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? So, for today we'll be continuing with Get Even, uh, which will probably also be the case for tomorrow. Depends on how long it actually is. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll do another three hours of this today, so it's going to be some progress. And yeah, quick recap maybe. Um, kind of plays a detective maybe? Looking for some girl. And for some reason we got stuck in an asylum. Have the ability to jump through pictures into different realities or something like that. It's a bit confusing, but it's enjoyable for the most part so far. The gunplay is kind of mediocre at best, I'd say. Um, feels like the game would have been better without it, but maybe it'll get better. Anyway, without further ado, let's continue. So the last room we were in, we had to pick one of three buttons to see if it would actually open one of the doors we could progress through, or uh, if it would actually open doors to people that are locked up. So managed to avoid that one. Okay, yeah, that's exactly where we left off. That's perfect. Did I read this? I don't know. I don't think so. Robert Ramsey, genius, or charlatan. Head of the future, head of future defense group, um, group science and tech department. Robert Ramsey is widely recognized as one of the most important innovators in the tech world. However, to his detractors, Ramsey is a charlatan frequently accused of stealing concepts from his lesser known peers. We talked to former ADS. CEO, who claims that one of Ramsey's most successful projects was based on a theft. Well, guess that happened. Wait, this is so. Why can't I? There we go. You need to be in a really specific position, which is a bit odd. Which is a bit odd. Match found. Redmond Macy, kleptomaniac. Known aliases: Maestro Berry. Maestro Berry. Oh, hang on. The agitator. Big Pharma strikes back. Will robots ruin our lives? Is the future of warfare doomed? Former ADS technician telling uh, the untold story of a scandal that led one of the country's biggest defense contractors to see massive layoffs. It's like we're kind of investigating this company, in a way. So much information about them. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do here. Right. Okay. Well. Seriously, so many TVs in this one. Wait, what? Why did it change? Oh, okay. So just by pressing X, it actually swaps.
Can't open that. It's like evidence markers. Well, guess I'm not going Let's back. Let's talk about our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ready. Okay. I wish I'd know I had known that before. Um, at the very beginning, like questioning. Jasper Prado's death remains unexplained. Chadwick is certain it was a drug-related crime. I've questioned both Jared Forta and Ethan Hamilton. Chadwick talked to John Linden and Albert Hall, but it doesn't seem we're making any progress. More names popped up in Prado's, in Prado's phone record, but the guy was a dealer and it looks like almost all of his friends were just clients. Nope, that's not what I did, mate. There we go. Incident report. Southern Police, Spital Police Station. Okay. Informant Shane Kareth. Informant's address. Incident. Road traffic collision. Hmm. Not very interesting. John Jacob Singer. Possible homicide in the vend warehouse. It's event, 20th June, just before 2 p.m. Received a call reporting the discovery of a man's body in the empty warehouse. Officer sent to the scene confirmed one victim whose death was caused by a gunshot wound to the head. There were no documents on the body from, uh, when found. Forensics will be required to provide a ID. The autopsy is scheduled for Friday. Okay. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. I was out on a run, and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. Huh. Oh, that guy ended up dead as well. Picture time. Detective Bart Fair. 1994 criminology graduate. Okay. It's all about the same guy. Chadwick. Right then. Let's hop through the picture. Because why not? So you do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at Point blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse. That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find, find out, out, shall we? S certainly intriguing overall. All right. Hmm. Black, where are you? You've promised to help me. Is it blood again? Jesus, man. Your hands off. Only Franny this. Shut up. Move. Oh. What does it really matter? So we can't go through there. Guess we best use the map then.
Wait. I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Ah, yes. Yep. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. Then try harder. No worries, this looks like something I should be able to. You brought me here. Fuck you. Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense. You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the messages your mind is sending. Focus. On what? This looks like it should be usable. There are a ton of vaults, actually. Proceed. Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Okay. That's sort of the recurrent line. They've been giving throughout the game so far. Don't seem to be any enemies. Okay, there's supposed to be a clue here somewhere. Hmm, that's all there was. All right. What the hell happened here? Footprints actually stop at the door. Well, nothing on that. Okay. Damn. It's like everybody was invited. Here as well, I think. 
come on. Something else. Wait, what? Didn't I get this guy already like two times? Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Red, what is this? You are trying to process too large, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. Oh boy. There, Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? Pandora will do the rest. Use your scanner. Great. It's not this one, apparently. Gotta be one of these two. Identification confirmed. Jasper Prado. Status deceased. There's me thinking we could sort this out, my girls. <laughs> if you wanna do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, we have a name then. Jasper Prado. Yep, oh, seizure warning. Boy, Once again. Oh, come on, she. Why have I always got to drive? Rags, son, rags. What now? How do I know this? You don't. The Pandora is cross referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. All right. Let's check what we have here. Blood test analysis came this morning and the victim's DNA matches the DNA we found on the blast site. Chadwick claims that uh, that same location was previously used by local junkies. So Prado, uh, as a drug addict and a dealer, wasn't necessarily involved in the kidnapping. Hmm, okay. Shooting victim identified. Shooting victim was found in the warehouse near Route 10 last week. Police found out who he was by Brian Scott. Um, last week we reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in the abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was found lying on the floor of the main hall in the warehouse. The victim having been ruthlessly shot from close range. According to a source, half of the victim's face had been shot off, making him unrecognizable. Police had concluded that the victim's name was Jasper Prado, a known mercenary and ex-military man with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Prado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment on the case. At this stage, it is still unknown if Prado was the only victim found on the scene. Ballistic analysis conclusion, examination of both crime scenes, uh, kidnapping, Prado case, as well as collecting the, and, anal and analyzing the physical evidence related to weapons and ammunition during both criminal investigations, leads to the conclusion that the shooters used weapons produced by an advanced defense strategy. Company keeps popping up.
Alright, let's move along. Okay, so we can go up the stairs now. Or we can go... Where's the map? We can go up. We went there already. Unless... Uh, let's rather check out this area. Oh, never mind, I guess. Unless... Oh, another keypad, of course. Hmm. Let's have a look in the other room, then. Maybe in here? No. This place again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though. As if something is... Bothering you. Who is Jasper? Comes from a working class family. Father was a truck driver, mother worked in a pub. Bright kid in school, though quickly lost all interest in education and start... Uh, and starting... And started looking for fun elsewhere, mostly partying in nightclubs and smoking pot with friends. Too late. Hmm. This will teleport me back, isn't it? I have a feeling that some of these key-coded doors can't actually be gone through until you like replay chapters or after finishing the story or something. Because we haven't really found anything with numbers on them. that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. And we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. <laughs> well, guess we're not going that way. Something's happening. Oh, it's a memory. Apparently. Well, if it's a memory, though, then he's kind of got to be one of those cops, right? Yeah, I definitely heard gunshots. Well, I heard loud bangs. So I guess they were gunshots, because the guy was shot, right? Anyway, I was out walking Cujo. My dog, at around 5 a.m. My wife's a heavy sleeper. Kujo's always needing the shit in the morning, so yeah, sometimes we take him out for a walk. So yeah, I, I was walking down Pump House Lane and into the fields when the shots were fired. It's a report. Um, it's kind of was the same thing. Yeah. What is he holding? Is he even holding anything? Huh. Weird. Okay. There's a phone ringing somewhere. Oh, maybe we can get the... The one bit of evidence we couldn't get earlier. Hurry. 
Can we like jump now? I'm not sure if there's an order to them. What about the map? It's a bit unfortunate that they can't like zoom out. I don't think you can. No. Like zoom out the map. That would be nice. Well, I'm crouched. Hmm. Let's go this way first. memory. Another cop. Proudest car. Okay. Just Prado. Another one. Case reopening application form. Grounds for reopening. Due to new evidence linking Jasper Prado's death to the Broomsgrove kidnapping, person name was found near the blast site. I hereby request reopening both cases since they appear to be linked. Decision dismissed. Edwin Hughes. Huh. Wait, so... Is there another one this way? No. It can't be. There is! Bloody hell! Hang on. Oh, there's a bunch. There's at least two more. So this one... What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. This is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone, and just let this run its course. I was kind of trying to pick that one up. Uh, can't, okay. What's your nope. <clears throat> no evidence thing showing up. Trisha Bateman. Huh. Okay. So this might be the last one then. Detective Bart Fair missing. 45 year old Detective Bart Fair has been reported missing following a four day period where he failed to report for work and his wife, Jenny Fair, was unable to contact him. Wait, so she's technically Jennifer Fair? That must be rough. Um. Chronicle was able to contact 
Ferris workmate Hector Chadwick, who has taken unpaid leave in order to help find his friend. He's a great copper bard, but he always got far too involved with his work. A man should never put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He'll be fine. Detective Fair was recipient of the, sti of the Severn Police Bravery Award in 2009 following his famous rugby tackle of a knife-wielding maniac at Birmingham Moor Street Station. Sure. I have a feeling that we are playing as Bart Fair. Was it case file? This assignment. Case opened. Case closed? What? Wait, what? There's no date for when it was closed. Okay, so what now? Because that's pretty much it, I think. I keep hearing noise coming from there. So unless we can suddenly... go that way. Is there something on the notice board, maybe? Police station. That way. What? Huh. We can't really go that way. We've had this bit, right? Yes. There's nothing else. Are like missing one? I don't think so. It's like the blue squares are like the scenes. Is that like something else? Doesn't look that way. Do I like, have to go through them in a specific order? Maybe we can... Okay. Not sure if this was open before. It is now, though, so... Let's have a look. Well, not going that way. Black, I've been reviewing the data. Though you've been thorough in gathering evidence, your pursuit of supposition has sadly rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. No, Red. Wait, not what? Yet. I'm so close. Bugger off. Hell no. What just happened? You pulled me out. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that, that to be true, you corrupt the simulation, simulation and cast doubt over the memory. 
If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Lady, I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. this time, Black. Different how? I'd like to try starting before Prado was killed. You want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this door is open now. Check those files. That's all the same. So is that all right? I think this way. No. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Supposedly, I got a message. Pretty sure there was a the sound of a message. Oh well. Where does this lead? Do you like watching these screens? Oh, I see a static. I can help you. Huh. what this is. Oh, it's the hub area, Excellent, kind of. Mr. Black, you're using all the tools I have provided. I appreciate the effort. I believe this investigation may be swift. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Damn. That's all still missing. Okay. Okay. Hello. A lot has happened there. Let me. I remember these. I actually collected a lot of things yesterday. Did not expect that. Oh, and this is also complete. This one. And no, I missed one. Really? Bummer. Where could I have missed that? Oh, wait a minute. Ninety six percent. Oh, I see. So the key codes to the doors, you get them here, I think. 6532. If you collect all the evidence in a specific area, or about a specific 
subject, I guess. Ninety-one percent. That's pretty good, actually. Ninety-one, ninety-six percent. That one's a bit lacking. Maybe seventy-ish. Yeah, seventy-six. So I guess that opens up shortcuts, maybe, to other areas. That's kind of neat. Uh, I like that. Okay. It's a neat idea. Get out our phone. Oh, no going back now. Another email subject one rotten apple. Talked to Ben and Eric, and I thought I made it perfectly clear the bad apple needs to be removed as soon as possible. We can't take the risk. Like I said on the phone, this is delicate. You work for me, and you follow my orders. If you can't handle that, I find someone else. No mucking about. Right. Oh, hello. That's. Wait. Okay, that's the teleport thing. Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. Jasper Prado, victim or culprit. First was the corpse, a dead body found in the warehouse near Route 10. Then we learned that victim's name was Jasper Prado. Now for the first time we investigate who he really was. An innocent man who was the victim of a psychopath or a cold-hearted criminal who got what, uh, what was coming to him. Since being discharged from the military uh, over a decade ago, Proud returned to the country, where he immediately began contributing to what would become a substantial criminal record. Just four months before his death, he was arrested for drug possession. Was his death drug-related, or did his lifestyle become too much to handle? The police have yet to officially rule out suicide. Vicious Crime Warehouse corpse of a man in his 30s was found in an abandoned warehouse this week, and yet nobody has the slightest clue regarding the victim's true identity. Detective Chief Inspector Edwin Hughes had this to say. It appears that victim was shot from close distance, but we've yet to establish how long the body was there prior to the discovery. to its discovery. The autopsy is scheduled for Friday. No specific details about the victim's identity has been released yet put a source close to the investigation and claims this uh, was a drug-related crime. Sure. Place known as The Shell. It's a bend warehouse about half a mile from the gas station on Route 10. Uh, it's not a Shell station and probably never was. One local myth su suggests um, it gets its name from the numerous shell, ca shell casings found in the warehouse over the years. The place certainly looks like it witnessed its fair share of killing. Sounds great. A military personal file. Information restricted. Dear Lieutenant Prado, it is my pleasure and privilege to expose my appreciation, express my exp appreciation for your contribution to the success of Operation Grapple. Uh, you and the other members of your division did an outstanding job of securing the forward position, setting up and establishing communications, and coordinating the movement of follow-on forces. 
without your dedication to duty operation grapple um, would not what without your dedication to duty operation grapple would not have been the success that it was okay congratulations on a job well, job well done sure let's head out So what did I do wrong last time? You just lost your way, Black. That's all. My reading suggests the majority of that memory remains unexplored. Focus this time. Assume nothing. Explore the memory in full. <laughs> Relax and explore. Very good, Mr. Black. Relax and explore. Oh, great. Remember, this is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of exactly what happened. Understood. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise against going in guns blazing. Try not to get spotted. Right. Hmm. Well, if it's the same memory, there shouldn't be anyone here, really. there. Okay. I'm still not sure what the blue sort of circles on the map are. Jasper do exactly. Took matters into his own hands, is what I heard. Yeah, but what happened? I don't know. Order came from the top. Bring him in at all costs. What about Jared then? Try to stop him, idiot. Too green. Too green. He'll learn. Wait, there's no way out here. What the hell? It's gotta be this way then, right? Nope. Where's the hell? Where the hell is the way out? So there's evidence here somewhere. Oh, this one. Right. Okay. Maybe it's just about searching more evidence. They're shooting at. Gotta be a waste somewhere. Ok. 
Okay, I gotta go on to that side, it seems, since there are more enemies. Okay, like, is this a way? No. Where the hell is the exit? Has to be on that side somewhere. Well. Okay, it's over there, weirdly enough. How did this work again? Also, what's this? Jasper Wesley, okay, it's just the guys that were in the army together. Sorry, but you're kind of in the way. Will he actually pick me up? Probably. Yeah, most definitely. Oh, that's unfortunate. Very good. Well, you kind of didn't necessarily want to kill them, but. Wheels are in motion. Fantastic. Whatever that means. Right. Um, let's see what's this way. Not anymore. Oh, hi. Yeah, you guys saw nothing. Damn, there's another one. Two more. Oh boy. Over there. God damn it.
Why did you have to go make a ruckus? I wasn't even in this vision cone. Hmm. Okay, where am I? Remember, this is exactly the same memory as the last one, just a little earlier on. We need a clearer understanding of oh my God. what happened. Understood. This memory is a little temperamental, Mr. Black. I would advise against going in guns blazing. Are you serious right now? Right. I'll collect Bleeding this. Out. One matching profile. Jasper Prado. Bleeding out. I say we're just leaving. No, my force is orders if we'll bring him in. Fuck you. Supposedly I'd gotten a message last time. I don't get it. What did Jasper do exactly? Took matters into his own hands is what I heard. Yeah, but what happened? I don't know. Order came from the top. Bring him in at all costs. What about Jared then? Try to stop it, idiot. Too green. Too green. He'll learn. If he ever gets out. Well, come on. Have a seat. I wish I knew where I had to go. I would facilitate my options here. Let's just see if we can go through here, maybe. Oh, boy. That's not good. Where's the map? There it is. Okay. Oh, he's doing his round, I think. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Mr. Black, I think that something is wrong with this memory again. It's becoming highly unstable. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. I don't wanna.
There is evidence here somewhere. There it was. Where is it? Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Jasper Prado. Okay. I think now we're ready to go. Find a picture with a binary code and enter the investigation room. Find a picture with a binary code? Wait, what? There's nothing else here. I think I don't have any other option. I'm in that filing cabinet again, aren't I? But what were these? Weapons, Mr. Black. A personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board? That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. It's the same toy. It's the same thing. It does the same thing like the other ones. There's nothing new about it. Also, what the hell have I missed? Damn. Like what? Six missing. Huh. Oh well. Keep on going, I guess. seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Great. Where is all the stuff that was static? Over here. Oh, hang on. What? Enemies? Well, that's not nice. Oh, of course. Damn. 
That's a lot of enemies, actually. Oh, crap. I told you not to disturb the memory. Stop shooting, Mr. Black. Yeah. Is against us. He was kind of coming my way, though, so... Damn. Please move. Damn it. Okay, seems he didn't see me. Which is good. Oh my word. Hmm. Why are the four dots popping up? Here. All right. I'm not sure what the use for that was. Where's the map? Oh, he's just chilling. As long as he looks the other way, we're good. It's like evidence somewhere. Have a look. Jared Porter. Ben called me saying we're all fucked. Pigs got Jared, and it's only a matter of time they get the rest of us. Jared came to see me and said nothing about being arrested, acting like nothing happened. When I told him what Ben told me, he said Ben was just tripping. No pigs were on him, and he just went to London for the day. I'm fucking positive that something's off, and if pigs have Jared on their leash, we can't trust him anymore. Okay. Hey! Hear me out! Please! Just... just hear me out! What do you want? You hit for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. Please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me. Well, the last time I set someone free, it didn't go all that well.
and by the looks of it, can't really do anything for the guy. So, bye! What the? Jasper's been working under the radar for almost a decade. Was in the army in the 90s, uh, where he first made contact with people who now provide him work as a mercenary, got discharged. Likes his recreational narcotics pot, cat, and ecstasy. Makes some money selling it all on the side. Tends to deal in small amounts to keep a low profile and predictable and erratic, but the best merc I know. Take a picture, eh? Okay. Jasper, he knows and he's coming for you. Meet me back at the mansion. I'm on my way, Rose. Still no memory of Jasper. Found his phone, though. Brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I, I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! Went fairly well, though. Overall. I mean, I had to kill three. Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... Jasper. ...business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear my... My technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? Uh, did I go through these? I think I did. Yeah. Back in this room, hmm? Okay. Well. Okay. Let's move along. And this takes me somewhere again. Sure. Have a look. Probably missed a ton again. Assuming this is the hub area once more. It is. Alright. Oh. Um. Okay. 
so I guess we're at this bit then. Hmm. Find anything new here? No. Well done, Mr. Black. All the available evidence for this memory has been collected. For what memory? What? We may find a way to use the code you've discovered. Could be significant. What, this one? Uh, that's a bit late, mate. I mean, that was done, like, an hour ago or so. Damn. Anyway, um, speaking of code, 6532. Gotta try and keep that in mind. Wait, it's not putting me in the garden again, right? Okay. Right, let's have a look. I actually prefer this area to the any area with the soldiers, really. Just seems out of place. Oh, wow. Well, there's a friend over there. First, Dr. Benway was very reluctant towards my idea of bringing art psychotherapy to Lithurst, but now he finally seems to be satisfied with the results. I'm genuinely surprised with the progress patient 2-19 well, yeah, made in the last two weeks. Uh, he always feels guilty about the things he did, but wouldn't go into details, and now he's writing about it. He's trying to communicate his feelings for the very first time since he got here. I'm making progress, Dr. Amanda Barnes. Patient 219. Well, let's not let you out anytime soon. Patient says you summary report. Wicked may not be a medical term, but Steve Stephen's left hand is surely wicked. I've read the poems and stories you wrote with that arm, and the feeling of dread I felt left me. Uh, left me speechless. Amputation may be our only option in this case. If your hand makes you stumble, chew it off, the Bible says. Okay. Well, don't do that at home, kids. Should be evident. Arthur procession every Monday to fr and Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, okay, well. Oh, this is open. Great. That circles back around, I think. Right. Did he change room? No, still in the same room. The more I think about the puppet master, the more gaps I see in my past, and the holes in the in my memories only get bigger. All the moments I can't remember clearly, all the things I've done, not having full control over my own actions. The puppet master may look like one of us, but that's just a disguise. There's a shadow on him, a mark on her skin. I see him in my dreams. I've tried to kill him many times, but it just keeps coming back telling me that no one can deceive the Prince of Lies. Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you... Paint your prosthetic leg black. It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. 
Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick. Remember, that's why I had to cut it off. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. Bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right. I'll think about it. You what now? Wait. When did that guy show up? Try not to alert them. He left us, abandoned us, the puppet master left them. Why are you gonna take a picture of them? Most of the inmates I've met talk a great deal about the war. We all have flashbacks of the things we've seen, the things we've done. When I first woke up in my cell, I thought that this must be some kind of military experiment, making soldiers face their traumas. So is the puppet master our commander in chief, or are we all captives of our greatest enemy? <clears throat> well. Very philosophical questions there. I find that so odd. Why can't I take a picture of him? It's also no indicator, so. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Well. Oh, his. My liege, you are here. I knew you would come. Ever since uh -huh. that day at ADS, you let me live, remember? And now I know why. Pass me that crowbar. Let me out, my Caesar. How about no? Wait, what? He's a broken man because of you. This job was his way out. Our way out. We were going to break free and live our lives. But you destroyed it all. What did we do to deserve this? Sure. What do we have here? Dr. James Evans. Dear Mr. Boyce, as you already know, you've been diagnosed with clinical depression. That tragic event at ADS clearly took a toll on you. But I think I know how we can get you, you the help you need. My good friend Dr. Amanda Barnes organizes art therapy sessions for patients coping with emotional and psychological trauma. So I strongly suggest contacting her as soon as possible. Would you pose for a photograph, maybe? No? Okay. Okay, that's the map. More ammo. Oh, okay. The puppet master loves both art and artists. But his art is bigger than life. All the people, the plans and dreams hang as if by a string over darkness. He chooses who will be saved and who will fall. Mine. 
Ähm Wait, what? Where did your weapon go? Oh well. Would you post for a photo now? Nope. Okay. Never mind then. Still, wasn't this the same guy that wanted me to give him a crowbar and then shows up with a crowbar? Bit odd. More ammo. Okay. No one around. Or so I thought. I'm Hi there. Wasn't there. Red. How yeah, are you no shit. This? I'm not Mr. Black. You are. An imprecision of the technology. Sometimes the Pandora will overlay the images it. onto reality. I don't understand. You don't need to. You're in very real danger from your own mind. Proceed with caution. Well. That's fun. Hmm. So here's the problem in all this. Not knowing where actually the exit is. Kind of ends up being a problem. The fuck? How is that even possible? Well, fuck. Okay, leg it. Maybe I can find where I need to go. This way. Okay. Very good. Apologies, Mr. Black. The Pandora can be temperamental. I assure you that all anomalies have now been dealt with. From my end. For now. I'm getting tired of temperamental. We are dealing with a prototype, Mr. Black. View it as fascinating. No tiring. Yeah. Easy for you to say. You're not the one getting shot. True. Kind of has a point. Well, there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. So, let's get through it. Patient list. Will Kaufman, John Keating, Brian Warner, David Kane. Multiple X. Sure. Again, multiple X. Joe Bonham, Ben Willard. So the ones that were crossed out, the X's. So this seems like the way forward, I'd say. What about this way then? I used to make clothes out of human skin, okay. Impressive, kind of. White albino coats with shiny teeth buttons. Buttons, um, black shirts from the finest African material, tendon belts covered with soft tissue taken taken from the from newborn bodies, and yes, even fat insulated part pants. Um, this patient's delusions were extremely complex, but they were just delusions. Sometimes he seemed completely sane. Therapy and proper medication would do miracles for him. I thought. Then one day he disappeared. Maybe he got out. I asked nervously, standing in front of the men's room. Impossible. The only person I've seen uh, was a redhead. Looked nothing like him. Behind the door we found only an empty shell of what once was my patient. A suit so perfect it would have fooled anyone. 
and on its side a half meter long zipper. Okay! Someone's taking Halloween a bit too seriously. Patient 219. So there is evidence somewhere in this area. Wait. Okay, this room leads around. That's where we just were, right? Maybe not. Yes, it is. That's the door we entered through. All right. So there's one patient. Oh, that's not gonna work. This will. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. All of the believers, they're not all like me. Like the mad kettle and hat guy. They fuck you up, you see. They'll keep on their believing all day and all week long. They pray and they believe and s and sing their stupid fucking songs. So I'll gladly crush their legs in and poke out all their eyes. And see them crawling till the end. And watch as each of one, uh, as each one dies. And as for that prick believer in his stupid fucking hat. A drop of poison in his cup. That w uh, what would we all think of that? <clears throat> right. Well. Yeah, he's gonna be a good boy. Bloody hell, come on. Right, the Mad Hatter. Do I look like a fucking plumber? Open the door. Yes, that's what we need. You can do it. I open the door. The button's right here. I. I'm too thirsty to push it. Oh, he must have been. Hmm... Hang on. So I'm not sure if this game is about to screw me over. Again. Because previously doing a favor for someone by letting him out and up them attacking me, then not giving the crowbar to that person seemingly seemed to automatically have given him the crowbar and attack me. So there's kind of no win-win unless there was coincidence. And now I wonder if I progress and not turn on the, vol the valve, he'll just learn more patience out. Screw it. Well, I plead, nobody knows. Give them a twist, and the water is flowed. One down, but how many more? Quickly now, quickly. 
feet, and I'll open the door. Oh, maybe that wasn't even uh, an option. Eh, seemingly not. Didn't really want to take a photo, but sure. Okay. Well, that's nasty. No matches, okay. His brain is damaged, but there's still a good chance of pulling this off. The temporal lobe is, an entire, is entirely unimpaired. He should survive the review phase at least, so I'm hoping of finding out exactly how much he knew about what happened to Grace. Server connection scheme. Be damned if I know where the hell what is. The new prototype is ten times better than the previous one, but there's still lots of work to be done before it functions uh, efficiently. The participant of my experiment, G, um, was astonished with the results at first, but after spending 15 minutes in the virtual memory, he started showing symptoms of cyber sickness. He was dis disoriented and horrified, and 20 minutes into the experiment, he started uncontrollably vomiting. So I had to ab uh, abort the whole thing. At least he survived. I'm exhausted, but no time for rest. I'm too close to stop working now. Okay. No idea which was which this one is. DNA found. One matching profile. Lenore Ramsey. Uh, this world is such an abode that if those present here have their wits entire, they will never weep for the absent ones. Sort of a copy of an entry of birth. Robert Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Where's the map? Come on. Okay, so... I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Hmm. Shouldn't that be all of them? Pretty sure I interacted with all of them. Actually, I didn't. Come on. 
I'm hoping that turning them all left will actually keep the water flowing. No? Really now? Oh my word. Wait, so... Okay. <coughs> so I kind of got to go this way, I guess. Then, wait. So that's where the pipe is. Goes through. Pipe goes through. Assuming this is the one. Oh my god. I hear the water flowing. There we go. Open the other door. You bastard. Well, from Scott Hopkins to Robert Ramsey. Hello Rob, is everything okay? You're not picking up the phone, we're all worried, it's sick. Your team is amazing and I know they're working day, uh, night and day, but we clearly need your guidance in order to have this device ready to hit the market and become the success it deserves to be. We need to minimize all the symptoms of your sickness testers are getting and fix the major bugs prior to release. Please communicate with us, we can't do this without you. Cold black on the scene when it happened. Why was he there? Just but proud of murder just hours before the explosion. Was he involved somehow? Jared Porter questioned by police in Prada's case. What does he know? Roger Howard surely wouldn't stoop so low. We'll need hard evidence before moving against him. Cold black was investigating Grace Ramsey's kidnapping. Claims he tried to solve this thing on his own, but failed, or perhaps he wanted to fail. History of addiction to prescription opiates would often lose grip on reality. Claims he has no memory of investigating Jasper Prado and Rose Atkins. 
can't recall that he knew the people directly involved in the kidnapping. To what extent should he be trusted? Wait, wasn't there an indicator for evidence somewhere? Didn't I take his picture already? Pretty sure I did. I was certain I had taken his picture already. Is there anything else? It's like something should be around here. happening. The room change? How it did. I've changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. Still doing it together, though. If you spent four hours with the kid. It's sharing responsibility. Okay, no picture time here. Alright. Still... Is there something over here, maybe? interact with. Not really. Alright. Well, moving on. <clears throat> Master of Science. Thirteen children and teacher died in an accident. Thirteen children and teacher died in a horrible accident on the M40 motorway near Warwick. It was just after midnight on the 18th of November when a minibus crashed into a maintenance vehicle. Ellen Gray, 35, was the teacher who was driving the bus transporting 15 children home to Worcestershire, Worcestershire um, from a school trip to London. She fell asleep at the wheel before the minibus struck a 12.5 ton Bedford motorway maintenance um, lorry and later exploded. Oh wow, that went all the way over the table. Well, let's see then. Have a look at this one. What's this? Congratulations, Rob. It seems like only yesterday we were making up excuses not to finish our science degrees and go to India instead. And look at you now, a serious scientist, a husband, and a father. Give Lenore a big hug for me. All the best for you two and to Grace. As you know, I'm not really experienced in buying stuff for children, but I hope this angry looking bear won't be too terrifying for her. Take care. Why is that person supposed to be angry looking? What? Okay. Let's go this way. Baby monitor. Can you bring me her bottle, love? I think it's in the kitchen. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. True that. Don't be a dick. Come on. Oh, 
Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. Your son. Uh, calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? <sighs> right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... Wait, that's it? Really? Well, I assume... Why can I turn off the lamp? It seems so random. Anyone who says they slept like a baby clearly never had one. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? Things. Can't go that way. Okay. What's happening? Okay, that's really weird. So the doctor said that Mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? Guess we gotta go back. Oh, what I wouldn't give for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. Well, better get used to it, mate. What are we going back to the kids' room? Let's turn the light off, change something. Something's happening. Thing is glittering. No? Wait. Okay. One moment she wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. On to the next one. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. 
She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll walk to her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. Okay. Well. Grace said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? Explain it to the kid. should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? Or you don't trust Dad? Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you and me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. Well, someone fucked up. memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. Now is not the time to start thinking, Black. Nobody cares about whatever theories you may have dreamed up in that little brain of yours. Now is the time to do as I say. Now is the time to proceed. Fuck you. Proceed which way, though? I've been here before. Pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, definitely been in here. So, this direction. That's gotta be the right one. Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should he? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Hmm. <laughs> All right. From eerie just <clears throat> needle in the <laughs> subject pigtails. Someone's singing. So be extremely cautious. I'm going to track this guy down, but for now we have to keep our eyes open. We don't need any unnecessary attention. from Rose. Subject, one more thing. We need a current high-risk satellite photo of this office house. Take care of it, ASAP. Wrong one. Come on. I want the upper one. There we go. From Neil in the Hay to, uh, to Eerie Chest. Subject, warm-up. 
tomorrow's the day we're just tying up loose ends now. We spoke about maybe having to cut our colleague out of the picture, if you get my meaning. Hope you're fine with that. We'll get the job done regardless. There's another thing. Yeah, yeah, door closed once again. Eric, is that you? Fuck me head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you, that girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who would have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? She's pretty messed up though, man. You know all that stuff we were joking about before? Yeah. Yeah, that. Are you serious? Right. So there's the picture. Let's have a look at this. What's Jesper Prado doing in that building just a couple of days before Grace's kidnapping? And why did someone report a group of armed mercenaries using a nearby area for target practice? Was it some kind of hideout? From Neil and the Hay to spy stuff for all. Subject, reply what, we, what I need. So you want. 295 quid for exactly the same BFG 6600 wall mic um, that you had listed at 235 last month. Fuck you, pal. I'll give you 250, including delivery deal. Okay, we're ready to go. From the rest, try not to fuck this up. What do you take from take me for? Um, a nihilistic psycho who wants to show off. Are you for real? I'm a pro. Me and my boys, we've been in a fucking war together. We do this quick and clean. Just tell your boys this time nobody gets killed or even wounded. So that's the Jasper dude. There's still this thing. Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call me. That doesn't sound nice. Oh. Onwards we go. <clears throat> How deeply intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means what, exactly? I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, what am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? It's going to be a stealth segment again, isn't it? Alright. Let's see. Actually, maybe not. The hell is that? Fingerprints Fingerprint. Atkins and Jasper Prado. Okay. I knew they'd be sending their inside man. But I never knew he was gorgeous. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Our employer has filled me in. Filled you in, lucky bastard. I'm sorry. Nothing. 
Not. I get it. You're a professional type. I, I suppose you want to see the center. Cross the eyes, dot the T's. All that shot. Yes, Mr. Brando. Please, show me round. Their first meeting. That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Let's head to the hub. First. Also, I might be jotting down those codes. Let's have a look. Why does it like keep giving me a taking away the them things? The detail, Black. It pays to check things over. What now? How did I miss so much? That can't be right. Really? Oh, hang on. I finished up another one though. This is completely blanks. Oh, okay. Fifty-eight percent. Huh. Damn. Started out so well. Anyway. So six five three two. And then we had two one five eight. That's twenty three percent, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Wait, wasn't there? wondering about that. Okay, well we finished up two boards. It's not too bad. Come on. Uh, someone try to access my data again. Are you going to deal with that or not? Answer my calls or there will be consequences. Great. How about... yeah, carry that thing back. God damn it, come on. Well, I guess I'll have to kill these. Bummer. Where is he? Wait, what?
Come on. Seriously? Yeah, that's just terrible. Yeah, the gunplay is not the greatest in this. Definitely not. Front door, Grace's room. Living room, stairs. Under here in the back window, we run the same way. Mm. Ramsey's house. Ramsey's. Just... Wait, what? Identified Jasper Prado. Alcohol, Mr. Prado. I thought you said you were a professional. Oh, hey, now, Missy, it's not for me. The boss man has sent some of his own men. It's back on the It's for those boys. Happy team is a productive one. No? And a drunk team is a dead one. Robert won't take this lying down. And he has resources of his own. You'll need to be alert. Okay, okay, I get it. It's off the menu, right? Oh, great. Well. Nothing in here. Guess we'll check upstairs then. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Okay, which way am I supposed to go now? Interesting. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for. Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay. So we contact Ramsey. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. Check some connection. Check CCTV access. Can we turn CCTV off? I give a moment. Kill Jasper for breaking my access card. With pleasure, apparently. Okay. So this seems to be a major thing. 
So what if... Okay, let's check this out. Storage room, planning one, three. I'm terrified by this group, uh, group ineptitude. It's time to get this thing done. I'm sick and tired of pretending that Ramsey actually matters to me anymore. Rose. We needed some time to get the whole family under surveillance, but it's done now. So calm the fuck down, Steven. Okay, hang on. Oh boy. What did I almost run into? Yeah, that's a nope. <clears throat> TMRC Chase <clears throat> More planning Submission. Gotta be evidence here somewhere. Was this guy there before? I guess you don't know how to use it, so I just set it on the third slot for everyone. Try not to change anything, don't mess with frequency, because if you fuck it up and start transmitting on 406 megahertz, we're all screwed. Lenore Ramsey. Nope, we had that. <clears throat> Scheduling. More scheduling. The girl we're looking for. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. No, no, listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. Ah, fuck's sake, well, you guys have got to trust me. I know my way around the fucking bomb. Not what I heard, Mr. Friday. Ah, fuck you, fuck the lot of you. Someone's got issues. Robert, I've got a lot of work. 
uh, on today. I'll be back at 10, maybe later. Lenore, sure, do what you want. Robert, Lenore, don't be like that. Lenore, I'm not being like anything. Robert, do what you want. Robert, you know how important this work is, don't you? Lenore, dinner's in the fridge, I'll see you later. The fuck? Her name's Lenore? Fancy old tart, ain't she? Who the fuck is called Lenore? Well... There's still something here, in this room. What about this coat? Yeah. Jacket. What? I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. We're on edge. I can feel it in me bones. I didn't get where I am today without knowing when a fella's on edge. You're so on edge, you're like a fucking razor. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck you. Why is this so important to you, anyway? I'm invested, that's all. Ah, uh, you've been promised something. That's none of your business. Well, guess the only way now is up. Where's the map? Yep, sure enough. Actually, the thing is, I wonder if they're going to pull me out. Shit, I'm still missing some data. No? Okay. Neutralize? Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as it doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins. That would seem to be the case, yes. Keep me updated. And let me know the second she arrives at the safe house. Hmm. Well, this is going to be tricky, considering. This one's definitely looking this way. Don't really see a way around. Man, this is fiddly as hell. Is it 
technically looking up. There we go. Both halves of Rose's ID card, okay. I'm glad that I scared the shit out of you, Jasper, but if you ever write anything personal about me to anyone ever again, I will shove a red hot poker directly up your asshole. And stay off my computer. I really have a way with words. Rose scares the living shit out of me sometimes. Last week, after a few drinks, she said she always wanted to kill her father, but never got the chance. He died in a car crash when she was young, apparently. I asked if he hit her or anything. She said it was none of my fucking business, and then she fucking went for her. And then she fucking went for me. Caught me off guard, knocked me down, and started choking me and shit. If I didn't slap her a few times, I reckon she'd have killed me on the spot. Memory Doctor, can this man really get inside your mind? What the shit? Come on, dude. What the hell? Security ID complete. Rose Atkins login now available. I picked the best man for the job. In and out, so we know that it's done. Once we've got her, we just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it will be that simple. If Karen cried, there's multiple alarm systems, CCTV... Listen, darling, it's a kidnapping, not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. You get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. It's a lot of pizza. What's this? Huh. Hey, Jared, this is Ben. Surprise, surprise. Shit, I wish I could see your face right now, mate. Listen, we all know what you did, you backstabbing son of a bitch. And I thought we were friends. So that was well hidden. Especially because there was no indicator, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. What's about this? Rose's property is still waiting for someone brave enough to deliver it to her. <clears throat> well about this? Nothing? Okay. Weird. Supposedly that was complete, not sure where the objective up top isn't indicating. 
the same thing. Should be this way. Nope. Wrong way. I'm not sure why it got so dark all of a sudden. Okay, let's try this out. Ah, the ID works. Okay. What now, though? Okay, we don't have the phone nor the weapon. Subject, oh my god. From Hannah. What's up, bitch? I read the, the short story you sent me on Wednesday. Zombie teachers were vampire kids. Funny shit, Grace. I'm your number one fan. Now, when can we get drunk and have another movie in Marathon Day? Oh well. Can hypnosis be useful during interrogations? For more than 50 years, hypnosis was the subject of much fascination and research for the CIA, believing that its apparent power to unlock the secrets of the mind might prove useful. The agency studied it during three major programs, Bluebird, Artichoke, and MKUltra. Or MKUltra. Um, Morse Allen, who worked in the Office of Security not only employed academic, academic experts on the subject of hypnosis, but also conducted several significant experiments studying the value of hypnosis for interrogating a person against their will. Allen hypnotized, hypnotized secretaries from his office to steal classified files and pass them on to total strangers. In one case, he allegedly convinced one of them to take a pistol she believed was loaded and shot her colleague and shoot her colleague. Um, but later experiments proved that these techniques can be highly unreliable and are far more effective if the test subject has a positive relationship with the hypnotist. Without a, without a pre-existing relationship, it was almost impossible to rely on these techniques. An interrogation setting would immediately cause the subject to resist the hypnotic induction. Huh. So much of that, I guess. Grace, uh, I'm only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you, you'll love it. Anyway, um, call me back. Bye. Can I seriously not read that? Nothing here, really. Mom? What? Is that you? Dad? Wait. Who, who are you? Not sure what's going on. Um, okay. So, 
something shining over there. Now we did that. Um, the hell is going on? Seem to be kind of stuck in limbo. Where's the bloody clock? Oh, there it is. Damn. What are you doing? No, 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 don't, don't touch me! Still stuck in this memory, I guess. Nothing we can interact with so far. Nobody knows. Lenore! She's gone! Robert! She's gone! Wonderful city. Wonders? Wherever she is, I'll find her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? Lenore, I have don't. no... Don't. Just... Don't. Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. Don't think we went this way. Oh yes, we did. Well, bummer. Oop. Oh, I fell.
Oh, hang on, I can interact with the picture. I understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. <laughs> you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom for Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. And Grace. My grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes, but we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, there was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy or I can be your salvation, but I will have my answers. Now, proceed. Well, onwards we go. Ah. Rose was their inside man in FTG. She is the key to all of this. Yep, sure enough. Hang on. What the hell? Well, that's closed. Hmm. Wait, did the door just close? Wait a minute. Yeah, this is different. Hmm. Not a lot of stuff in here. Oddly enough. Wait. This can't be right. So I can't go through that door. What the hell? Pretty sure that was closed as well. Actually, that's where I can... Wait, what? Oh, hang on, this is a different room. Everything looks the same here. Rose Atkins. Worked as Robert Ramsey's law assistant on the following FTG projects. Rose to Needle in the Hay. 
Well, I remember, I think we may need to keep a closer eye on Black. He's not an easy man to keep things from, and if he finds out what we're up to, I don't think he'll be happy. Be careful. And don't forget, I'm taking a big chance on you, Jasper. Don't let me down. When this is all over, the first round's on me. From Secure to Rose. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us, Atkins. I know it wasn't an easy choice. Keep your finger on the pulse and don't let Jay do anything stupid. Remember what I told you about him. <clears throat> Madeleine Scott Atkins emails. Subject Atkins email. Mr. Hopkins, I'm forwarding you a copy of Rose's email as requested. Long story short, looks like she wants to uh, wants a raise. I'm not sh not quite sure she's uh, as irreplaceable as she'd have us believe, but that's just me. Dear Madeline, I'm writing to officially request that my job title be upgraded to something other than lab assistant. My contributions to Dr. Ramsey's Pandora Savant have been significant, and he has told me on more than one occasion that he doesn't know what he would do without me. I have been working as many as 16 hours a day in recent weeks to help Dr. Ramsey understand and debug the technology and have made significant sacrifices elsewhere in my life to do so. I would never complain, since I love my work, but feel like it's time for my efforts were better recognized by FDS, FDG. I'm happy to take this up with Mr. Hopkins in person if necessary. That takes us back. Anything else here? Greg, I know it was you, you fucking uh, did that. Did what? Uh, no, I'm screwed. Even boss thinks I'm some kind of a perv. First of all, I didn't do anything. Second, everyone here knows you're a fucking perv, so that's hardly news. I won't let you get away with this, you stupid bitch. It's Miss Bitch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to be getting on with. Some of us still have a job, you know. Joel, hey, did you see Rose today? No, I. Um, she looks like going to an audition for a lead role in Nympho or something. You mean she's naked? No, just uh, unbuttoned her shirt, really. But she definitely looks like she wants to fuck somebody ASAP. Nothing new. She always finds a way to fuck us all over. She's my number two villain at the moment, just behind Cthulhu. Anyways, what you doing tonight? Me and Amber are going to do this new club. Lac uh, we are going to this new club um, lacuna. I know the place. It's amazing. DJ Reckle played there last Friday. So you coming too? Absolutely. Or that comes lab assistant, future defense group, science, tech department. Robert Ramsey to Scott Hopkins, work placement. I know you're not keen on her, but I think that we should hire Rose Atkins. I know she seems a little rough around the edges, but she's highly intelligent, and her, conf uh, and her credentials are very impressive. Just take another look at her CV for me, would you? I'd like to hire her, but only with your blessing. Best Robert. FTG takes the lead. Only two months ago, we informed you about advanced defense strategy plans to become, as uh, according to CEO Roger Howard, a creative force that will change the world. But it turned out that ADS rival Future Defense uh, Group just took. Um, 
just took the majority share of Europe's arms market for the first time in history. Founded in 1995 by young entrepreneur John Latham, Future Defense Group started as a developer, manufacturer, and distributor of electrical weapons and smoke grenades. Five years later, the company branched out and began manufacturing pistols, quickly becoming one of the largest defense contractors in the country. Didn't we have this already? Like, very early on in the game. That seemed very familiar. Anyway, I think that's about it on things around this place. Yeah. Okay. What do I need to do this time? Search the memory for Rosa Atkins. Find out who her employer was. Find out why she would turn on me after I gave her everything. Okay. And then we will find out your involvement, Mr. Black. We still need to know why you were there. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Okay, back outside again. I think we're going to call it a night here and continue from this point on tomorrow since it's a completely new area to explore. Actually, we might do a quick hop to the hub and then call it a night. Sure, it's all gonna grab that. Might as well. And have a look I here. How seriously, you're taking our investigation, Mr. Black. Good work. Did anything else unlock? Seventy-six percent. Fifty-eight still. Ninety-one. That one's complete. Ninety-six. Complete. 45. Huh. 97. God damn it, missing one. What the hell did I miss? Must have been something. Near that that room with the projector, I guess. Oh well. So yeah. More tomorrow. So see you all then. Have a good one.